Sir, it's wrestling night in Iowa. I'm Midnight Guthrie alongside the right price Aaron Masterson. Welcome to 3X Wrestling. And Aaron, before we get to tonight's matches, we got two huge events at the end of June we want to promote. On June 29th, right here at the Baradas at Forte Center, uh, we have Downtown Destruction 4. That's going to be a television taping. And it's one of the headline matches at that event is going to be Perry Saturn, former multi time WWE, WCW, ECW champion, now our 3XW Pure Wrestling Champion, will be defending the title against former heavyweight champion Mark Sterling. Yeah, so far Perry Saturn has meet all the expectations and beaten everyone he's been against, but I don't think he's ever faced anybody like Mark Sterling. And by the end of tonight's episode, you also know more about the heavyweight title match that's happening at that event on June 29th. The following day, Saturday, June 30th, will be in Mingo, Iowa as part of the Mingo Days Town Festival, a great afternoon event. We always love being part of Mingo Days. It's, it's a great festival, one of the great small towns in all of America. Yeah, really good matches. Go to 3xwrestling.com to find out about all of this. And, hey, let's get to the matches. Let's get to some wrestling. Yeah. Well, Aaron, this should be a real top-notch technical contest as we await the entrance of now former tag team champion, the professional Ben Saylor. Speaking of people you love. Oh, done. oh, there's Nate Bash. It just gets better. Demeanor. I have all the respect in the world for Ben Saylor's wrestling ability. No doubt about it, he might be the best all-around wrestler currently wrestling in 3XW, especially with Jeremy Wyatt on the shelf. But these two, I just don't like the cut of them. You just don't like their style. No, but Tyler Cook is coming out the face Saylor. Tyler Cook's a heck of a technical wrestler in his own right. Always a tag team though, even a singles competition, you gotta watch out for Bash at ringside. They are former three-time tag team champions. As we await the return of Tyler Cook to the Des Moines area. And now his opponent, standing six foot tall, and weighing in 205 pounds. Tyler Cook, a lot of charisma in those curly locks. Well, you hear the ladies screaming. This you is know quite, Tyler Cook's here. Well, this is quite the interest music. I, I think we, I think in other parts of the professional world, there's people that dance to music like this. Huge opportunity for Tyler Cook. We most recently saw him at our Grinnell event in February. Tyler Cook, a top-notch technical wrestler, three-time former peer wrestling champion. This is a great one-on-one -on -one contest, one I've really been looking forward to. Yeah, it really should be a good one. What is Sailor doing here? I'm not sure. Hanging what is, out. What is Sailor doing here? In the ring. Look at that. Wow. Look at the intensity in the eyes of Tyler or Ben Sailor, I should say. Hope these guys are focused. Now Tyler Cook's got to be careful though. He's got the good looks, the crowd on his side. From all the wrestling I've seen, Tyler Cook's not one that really performs well under the psychological mind games. I got to be honest with you. But he's, he throws an incredible drop kick. He's a great technician. He's got a good physique. I mean, he could probably get in there. Oh, tangle with former three-time pure champion. Uh, recently held the NWA Kansas champion. In, in Metro Pro Wrestling. Ben Saylor, three-time 
former tag team champion, is still the only man to hold both a single championship and a tag team title in 3X Wrestling at the same time, back when he held the Cruiserweight title prior to it being unified with the Pure Wrestling title. Yeah, and at that point he was wrestling two matches in one night. Similar in size, but Sailor has to have the power advantage. Incredibly deceptive with his strength. He's in phenomenal shape. Look Here we this. have a little shoving. Now they're damage. getting a little heated. I like this. Got to watch out for Nate Bash at ringside, though. Now look at this wrestling style going on here. Look at this. This is impressive because Ben Saylor, known for his amateur wrestling ability, his all-around technical ability, currently being out-wrestled by Tyler Cook, I believe. Still early in the contest. Look, right they roll now. around, though, but that gave Saylor opportunity to pick that leg. He's got a hold of the leg. Once he gets there, he can do a lot of things. To a, oh, a sleeper hold there by Tyler. Kind of a grounded There's sleeper. There's one way to fight out of it. And Shane's trying to put him in a penny predicament. Doesn't quite close. have it yet. I need to shift oh, this those is actually, hips. That was a bit of a submission hold. I am corrected. But it looked like the shoulders were almost down. Yeah, he was very close. He could have had him submitting and pin. Look at that bridge. Unbelievable there by Ben Saylor. Yeah, he was ready to fight from that bridge, too. And he needed to. I think he could have delivered a good strike. Ben Saylor, such a top-notch athlete here. Oh, just unbelievable. The battles he's had with Jeremy White in singles competition. I mean, he, he, he's primarily been a tag team competitor, but no, make no bones about it. He is a top-notch singles wrestler all over the Midwest. Yeah, one thing you got to watch out Look for. Look at that, the judo ability, heavily trained in martial arts. Incredible judo throw into. Look at that, a cross arm breaker. Hey, he's looking for it real quick. I was going to say, one thing you got to really watch out for, though, is that Benjamin suplex. He's got Absolutely. too much strength. Nobody can match submission wrestling with He can throw game. you quickly. We've seen him put guys on their domes. Look at this. Tyler Cook goes for a roll-up. No, in the ropes. And uh, this is interesting for Tyler Cook, because certainly he is a technical wrestler. But I don't think primarily he faces a lot of these real true amateur style wrestlers like Ben Saylor. Yeah, this is actually, he's actually holding his own right now though. He's frustrated Ben Saylor to the point where he's gotten him out of the ring. They may also have to do with the crowd and the fact that, that the, he really doesn't like this crowd here at 3X Wrestling. Well, look at Saylor, taking his time. Come on, Sailor, get in the ring. Now look at Nate Bash, though. This is where, come, I don't like this, Aaron. I don't yeah, like I this understand. one bit, having the tag partner at ringside there. You know, you might not like it. It's a smart strategy, though. I mean, it gives you something. Even if Nate Bash does nothing, the fact that he's there helps Ben Sailor. It's something else that Tyler Cook has to watch. Now, what I like about this match of another dynamic is the geography. Sailor, originally from Bismarck, North Dakota, now lives in the Minneapolis area. Uh, Tyler Cook from Lawrence, Kansas. The Kansas City area guys and the Minneapolis area guys have quite a rivalry throughout wrestling. And when yeah. they meet paths, especially here in the Des Moines area, there's some feistiness going That's on. That's one there. of the best things about 3X Wrestling. We are the meeting place for Kansas versus Minnesota. Oh, all the, the top all-stars in Midwest professional wrestling, really all over the country, make their way to 3XW. Nice suplex. Not even a one count, wow. That's the kind of athlete that Ben Saylor is. It, it takes a lot to keep him down. So to win this matchup, it's going to take a lot of work. Oh, and here's where Nate Bash inserts himself, even in the smallest fashion. Now look at that, yes. Grabbing the leg over in this corner here. We'll see if uh, Travis Peterson can do anything about it. Oh, what a chop. That's another component of Saylor we haven't even discussed is the striking ability. He's great with the kicks, with that martial arts background. Well, look oh, at this, wow. the world head scissors. Caught him off guard there. Oh, big drop, drop kick. kick. Beautiful drop kick. To a rush the leg sweep. There. Going for a cover, smart wrestling by Tyler Cook. Great move. And he looked a little disoriented and caught that punch he was about to throw. 
Now he's got the headlocks, he's got the legs spread out, giving himself a base advantage there. Sailor on the wrong side of Cook to be near the ropes. This is really a good submission hold right now. Right now, but he's in a good position to stand his opponent up and get out of this hold. Sailor works him up to a vertical base, off the ropes, hits the ropes. Oh, trips him up. Smart wow. Move. What a technique. And he's really going after that left leg at this point in the contest. Oh, well, we've seen Tyler Cook take to the sky, and if his knee isn't good, he's not going to be going up there anytime soon. That's a smart move. Not to mention he knows a plethora of tag team, excuse me, submission style moves that he can work the knee. Taylor stomping away now at that leg. Nate Bash now going, he was trying to get back after those young kids. These young kids, this birthday party here tonight's really giving these guys some trouble. Yeah, it seems like the crowd always gets to these guys. I like the positive guys. energy. But look at Tyler Cook, he's even on one leg, he's not willing to give up this fight. Attempting to fight Ben Saylor, one leg or not. Quite a, a dynamic good, here. Good defensive position, but. Look at that, look, look at, at that. Moves like that. Oh! Unexpected position for Ben Saylor, and he twists that knee. Do you see how the leg does not bend that way? That is just unhealthy. It's like practically pointing the complete opposite look, direction. Look at that. Be. That is disgusting. Tyler Cook needs to think about Come on, this. Tyler, get the ropes. He's got a gauntlet for the gold match tonight. He has an opportunity That's to win his heavyweight point. title. Does he really want to put it all on the line in this singles contest? Don't get me wrong, the pay window is a big deal. But the heavyweight championship of 3X. Oh, and here we go. Nate Bash making himself known. And you just shake your head in disgust. Well, it's just unnecessary at this point. I mean, Ben Saylor has all the, the ability in the world to be the top wrestler in 3XW. And, and yet he, he continues to use the tactics, the underhanded tactics, the cheating, the help of his tag team partner. It's true. It's just one of those dynamics you have to watch out for. Tyler Cook looking to try and escape by getting to his feet. Oh, drags him out. Hard. Not only does he drag him out, he pulled him out by that bad leg. Wow, painful. But look at this. Watch as he bends that, that ankle and the knee look twisted. Look at the way he is. Yes, the way he's got his own hands gripped is twisting the toes in the point of the foot of Cook. I mean, I think the question is, do you like pretzels? Because that's what he's oh, look making at right Bash. now. Come on, ref. Travis Peterson, what the hell are you looking at, man? He's right there. Well, he doesn't have his glasses on. I don't know if he wore his contacts Just when did he wear glasses? Well, <laughs> he needs some. The crowd clearly sees oh, him yes. yelling it. Come on, Cook. Using the one good leg. He's trying everything he has to try and keep Sailor off his feet. Oh! And that leg, that move there sent a shock up the entire leg. Sometimes you see a DDT style where they plant the foot. Oh! Come on, Tyler Cook, big in Seguri. That one plants but the man. knee and the leg. His left leg has just been decimated. Yeah, that took a lot out of him. Now look at Nate Bash though, what is he doing? Well, right now it looks like he's just supporting his partner in there. You can never know with these guys. That's true, there. we you do gotta keep know. an eye on him. I don't disagree. Come on, Tyler Cook. Yes, they've got up at eight. Almost failed to recognize the 10 count And here he goes. Even on one leg, picking up momentum. Can he lift him? No. Oh, he didn't quite have him there. Up and over. Watch out for that Benjamin suplex. Oh, that would have been a smart move, a quick roll up to help him win. Tyler Cook. Big power slam. Wow. That took everything Ten he minutes had a lap, there. five minutes remain. Time limit. This is one of those points where that physique really helps him. Even with one leg, he was able to pick up Ben Saylor. That's just an incredible perseverance on the part of Tyler Cook. How is he doing this on one leg? But right now, you're seeing the effects up. of a one-leg move. 
It's a lot harder to lift a guy. Tyler Cook trying to lift himself up to a leg. Oh, ducks the interior. I knew that one was coming. Look at this submission hold. Oh my God. What a move. What a, I have never seen anything like that. That looks painful. He's wrenching him of that. And he taps he out. Tyler Cook submits. Let him go. That is, oh, that hurts the watch. That is insane. What a submission hole there by Ben Saylor. Your winner, the professional Ben Saylor. Just an incredible submission hold there. Yeah, you talk about a lot of ways to make a guy tap out. A lot of ways to defeat an opponent. That's one of the many ways Ben Saylor can beat you. Technically, I believe that is called a scorpion hold, but uh, I'm sure Saylor has his own trademark phrase for whatever he just pulled out there. We've never seen him use that. And that is clearly an effective move. Gutsy performance by Tyler Cook. But Ben Saylor, just, just so impressive. And now they're picking on the ref. Nonetheless, a victory out of Ben Saylor tonight. <laughs> and an impressive Stay one. tuned. You're watching 3X Wrestling with a Million Dollar Man. Are you into WWE or 3X Wrestling? Then we have the place for you to hang out every Monday night and Sunday WWE pay-per-view events monthly. The Keg Stand in West Des Moines at 3530 West Town Parkway. Every Monday night you can hang out with 3X Wrestling staff and wrestlers while we watch Monday Night Raw. Plus the monthly WWE pay-per-view events including WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, SummerSlam and more. Friend 3X Wrestling and The Keg Stand on Facebook and we'll keep you updated. See you at The Keg Stand for wrestling, drinks and great food from Bach Catering. The other guys, they think they know what special means. At Godfather's Pizza, we do special, and we do it better. We add the tea. There's a Godfather's Specialty Pizza with your name on it. Classic combo, all meat combo, hot stuff, taco, yeah, even veggie and more. All of them piled high with the best toppings and 100% real cheese. Treat yourself special. Order specialty pizzas from Godfather's Pizza. 3X Wrestling has events all over Iowa, and we want you there. Experience the on-site action, visit the 3XW store, and meet the wrestlers. Hours of wrestling entertainment for $15 or less. Monthly TV tapings take place at the Baradas at Forte 3XW Coliseum in downtown Des Moines, the fourth Friday of every month, where doors open at 7 and bell time is 7.30. Check out 3XWrestling.com for more details and to sign up and find out when we're coming to your community. 3X Wrestling, you gotta be there. As we await the number two competitor, Jimmy Rockwell, for the first time, draws number one for the gauntlet for the gold. This is for the 3X Wrestling Heavyweight title. And now Rockwell has to face 29 other men in an over-the-top I was going to say, the interesting thing about this contest, you're not going to see a lot of the flashy wrestling moves. It's going to be all about throwing your opponent out. Corbett draws number two. Now this is interesting. You know it was Corbin that took out Rockwell's tag team partner Mike Seidel for the past oh, year. Oh, 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 Jimmy. You drew an unfortunate number. See, your tag partner, Mike Seidel, it only took 12 minutes. But according to that clock, I got 29 seconds. You know what? I don't even need all that time to injure you and put you on the shelf. Are you serious? Derek Corbin has been eliminated. Meanwhile, our Derek third competitor Corbin is here. Well, now we, we have the music as we wait number three. The, the next wrestler is Ben Saylor. 
Ben Saylor's number three. Jimmy Rockwell is busy jawing, but Darren Corbin didn't see his opponent come to the ring. As Saylor goes right to work, tough draw for Saylor. Yeah, both of these men. But right now, he had a good sneak attack on Jimmy Rockwell. Kind of grounding him right now. I can't believe Corbin just like that. That's his. Please welcome the Red Cyclo. The Red Cyclo. Okay, back to what I was saying. The Red I believe Cyclone. That the Mahler and Mustafa were partying out in Libya after their new tag team was formed. They and they've been stopped for uh, traffic. Yeah, there's a lot issues. of issues with them in the airport. Now, the Red Cyclone, he comes to us from, I believe, Tijuana Extreme Lucha Libre. We've seen some of their competitors in the past, like Nacho O'Reilly. Nacho O'Reilly, a good uh, friend of mine. I believe he is currently the Tijuana Brass Knuckles champion. Five, oh. five in that one. And here's the dynamic of having a partner. SBC goes to eliminate Domino Rivera. Look at that. Ricky Kwong Red stops Cyclone him. tries to throw up Radiate Desire. Doesn't oh, Radiate Desire oh, catches him in the, him in the face. face with a kick. Oh! oh. Ben Sam. Oh, you got a lot of the guys that were considered favorites from early in the match. Well, look at those guys teaming up. Hollister, Cannon, man! A gang beating on Tyler Cook, that's enough. Casanova and Rockwell, they've had some great battles. Four, three, two, one. What is this? Oh my God. The River Monster. Oh my God. They're doing everything they can to put Strife away. He's like Michael Myers, you cannot kill him. He's got the best win-loss record going into this battle. Oh. They call this guy my favorite. When a guy of Gage Octane's caliber is coming in this late in the match, he's got a great chance. And Shane Hollister has been eliminated. You know, how many, I can't, I've even lost count of how many competitors. 17. There are not 17 guys in there right now. 22. One of those. That's why I'm going to ask you a math question. Now, now Sailor going right after Tyler Cook. I cannot believe the River Monster is still in this match. Oh, why can you not believe that, Guthrie? River Monster's got as good a shot as anybody. Rockwell on the road. Back in this match. He was Mark tossed. Sterling. He was tossed unfairly. And now he's coming back. Look at that. Derek Steve Corbin. Has been tossed unfairly. What are you talking about? Uh, what is that? You already got eliminated. Excellent work, Derek. You Excellent got eliminated work. before the third guy came out. Shut your mouth, Guthrie. No one wants to hear you, bro. Jimmy Rocco's been eliminated. Magda McDowell. So you know who else got eliminated? Aaron Masterson. How do you think he feels right now? And I want to point out, Corbin tried to help eliminate Magda McDowell there. Oh. Look at that. Wow. Jason Strife eliminates Mark Sterling. Wow. Look at Magda McDowell. Jimmy Rocco have been eliminated. Let's turn around. Get on strike. Get on strike. Now's when you got to start working as a team. What a crazy turn of events, and look at this. Three-time former tag champ, Sailor Bash against Strife. Oh, Strife's gone. I think this crowd shocked Sterling was eliminated. He was the favorite in this match. I think everyone's shocked that Sterling was eliminated. I can't believe it myself. Come on, Strife! No, oh, no, no, guys, come on. Big elbows there. Work as a team. Work come as a team. on! No. Oh. Oh, look at Sailor holding on there. You are going to eliminate Ben Sailor. Look at Sterling. Week. What is Sterling doing? Sterling's not doing anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh Strife thinks he won. Strife thinks he won. Turn around. Sailor, get him. Get him. Knock him out. Oh. Oh, no. We got a new champ. I can't believe it. Ben Sailor has won. Ben Sandler. Oh, it's a beautiful night for Genesis. An incredible tag team wrestler. We have vouched for his singles ability. Has all the tools of the world to be the top singles wrestler in 3XW. Now he is the top singles wrestler in 3XW. Uh, he's one of the top singles wrestlers in the country, baby.
What do you want, you twerp? That was my fault. I'll give you that. But earlier, I beat your partner. That's There's question. nothing saying that I can't beat you. So next month, do it like a man. Never behind. Put that on the line. And I'll beat you one, two, three. Incredible match that will be. You're looking at a true professional. So if you want to settle it next month, this week right here, we can do it. And may the best man win. That's a main event in any building in the Midwest, Bethany. Any building in you the You never know what to expect at 3X Wrestling. And I cannot believe Ben Saylor is our new heavyweight champion. You're just going to have to deal with it, buddy. Yeah, what a performance by Jason Stride. I mean, what a performance oh. by Stride, Sailor, Sterling, Rockwell. But not a